Tony from TN3D Studio. This is going to be my review of Chaos Cosmos, which was introduced in the most recent keynote event from Chaos Group. This is going to be more specific to V-Ray for SketchUp, so be sure to check out their brand new website so you can see the updates for your specific platform. So one of the main announcements today was Chaos Cosmos. Cosmos is a free online content library for 3D assets supported by V-Ray for SketchUp, 3ds Max, Revit, and Rhino. So Cosmos introduces high quality 3D assets ready to download, render, and animate right into your V-Ray projects. Now this has been a request for quite some time, so I'm glad that it's finally here. So to get Cosmos, you want to install the latest update for VB5 for SketchUp. You want to log into your KS Group account. Click on Get Access and look for Update Your License. You want to pick VB for SketchUp, download and install the update like you normally would. Once you get into SketchUp, you will notice a slight design update on the toolbars and logos, and that's because of the new rebrand, so it's expected. Now to open Cosmos, you want to click on this new icon, and it's going to open the Cosmos browser window. Now just from the home page, I am impressed of how everything looks and how everything is organized. There are tons of filter options to help you find exactly what you need. So to explore things a bit, you can filter by 3D model and select from different categories. HDRIs, which include subcategories for day and night and creators that lend their support. And these are some well-known names in the ArchViz community. Names like Design Connected, No Emotion, VizPark. This is how you know these are top of the line 3D assets. Now you can also use the search bar and search by keywords. So type keywords like trees, people, cars and as long as it's available it'll be filtered down in the results so back to the home screen you will see more filtered options to make things a little bit more simple so categories like furniture accessories lighting and vegetations and you can also search by the space that you're designing so all the living room kitchen and dining and bathrooms all the assets are grouped into one spot and if you scroll further down you will see all the new assets that have been recently uploaded into the online library and anytime you're exploring a category be sure to check for the subcategories to help you be more specific with what you're looking for for example if you look at furniture you will see subcategories that include sofas and armchairs chairs tables bedrooms and storage and so on now downloading and importing these assets to your project is also very simple. You want to find the asset that you want to download and click on the blue icon on the bottom right corner. You can also click on the assets to expand it to a larger thumbnail and more details about that model. So you will see things like keywords and the model size. You will also see this blue check mark on the top left of the assets to indicate that you've already downloaded this model. Now to preview all of your downloads, all you have to do is click on this switch to show downloaded models and it will filter all of your downloads under their selected categories. And to import these models, just select one of your downloads, click import, and the model is going to load as a black box component ready to use in your SketchUp model. So now that you have the assets loaded into your model, you're going to find them in a few places. One of those places will be under the SketchUp Components tab. Here you can select your specific component and load that into your project as many times as you want. The other place will be under the global textures tab. Here is where you're going to find all of the HDRIs that you've imported from Chaos Cosmo. Because they are imported as textures, 
you can just right click and copy and paste them right into your dome light. And for all other types of assets, you're going to find them under the V-Ray Geometry tab. So here, there's going to be a list of all of the Cosmo assets that are in your model. And here you can make material and representation changes. Now depending on the 3D asset that you've loaded, these settings are going to be a bit different. Now most of the components will have the option to check the use material override and you also have quality of representation. And this is simply how you want this asset to be represented in your SketchUp model. If you expand the options, you will see that these are pretty similar to the ones you find when you're using V-Ray proxies. So these options will include point of origin, bounding box, low, medium, and high quality. Now you want to be careful when you decide to load medium or high quality because some models can be pretty heavy and can slow down your SketchUp file. Now for models that include light assets such as lighting fixtures, there will be basic lighting settings that will allow you to adjust the intensity of the light and the column multiplier. And like every other light assets in V-Ray for SketchUp, you can also adjust these lights under the V-Ray light mix if that's part of your workflow. Now the last option is to merge. This is going to convert your Cosmo asset into V-Ray standard proxies. And this is going to give you total freedom over the model. So now you can change and edit separate materials. And this is a great way to modify your model and really make it part of your design if you have to match color palettes and create specific visuals. As for the lights that come with these assets, so they're also going to be converted into V-Ray lights. And now you will have full access of all the settings and options to change it to whatever you like. Overall, I'm very excited about this tool and you know this is going to be a time saver. It's going to save you time in modeling and it's going to save you time in searching for 3D assets. So I'm glad Chaos Group is able to bring this all together in one place for easy access. Now hopefully this library is uploaded on a regular basis and with time we'll see more support of other big names in the ArchViz community. And the last piece of good news, there is no subscription fee for Chaos Cosmos. This is a totally free tool that is available with, with the latest V-Ray 5 update. So be sure to check out the new Chaos Group website and hook yourself up with some free 3D assets. And also the video for the full keynote event will be linked in the description. With that being said, let me know in the comment section what you think of Chaos Cosmos, the quality of the 3D assets, and even what they should include in the near future. If you reached this point and you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click bell notifications so you don't miss out on future content. As always, you want to check us out on other social media platforms and I'll see you guys next time.